we're working with a red terracotta clay. We're going to be using a slump mold. Um, we'll be forming the clay into the piece, and this just kind of holds our form and keeps our shape uniform as we're working. And it'll allow you to recreate multiples that are similar in shape and size, and uh, you'll be able to recreate each piece. So I'm starting with a chunk of the clay. I kind of just cut it right off the top of the bag, um, and I'm going to break off a small piece. And I'm really just going to start by flattening it out. I'm using my hand. You're welcome to use a rolling pin or however you want to do it. Um, but I, it's about, oh, I don't know, an eighth of an inch thick. And I'm just going to start piecing it in there and kind of pressing it down. You'll grab another piece of clay and just keep going. This dish, I'm embracing the pinchy texture, so I'm not worried about smoothing out my fingerprints or keeping the edges really uniform and tight. Um, so I'm actually, I'm just pushing this in and I'll be sealing each piece together. You can kind of erase that seam as you go. Kind of pull the clay in all directions to get it nice and tight. The corners are always slightly tricky. You'll probably just want to push some clay in there and then you can kind of flatten it out and smooth it to the right thickness as the rest of the dish. Again, I'm purposely kind of leaving these thumbprints and fingerprints into the surface of the clay so that I get this nice hand-built textured look. And once you get almost there, you can make smaller pieces to kind of make the edge a little bit more uniform. So I can just go in and smooth that out with my thumb. Again, I'm not really, other than this slump mold, I'm not really using any tools. I'm just kind of using my hands and fingers. Cool. And once you have it kind of smoothed out and finished and all of your seams have been attached to the next piece next to it, um, I kind of try to loosen the edges of the wall just slightly. Uh, you might want to use your needle tool to kind of release the edges. There we go. So you'll see kind of the opposite side. You'll see that all of your seams are still showing. So just go ahead and kind of do the same thing you did to smooth over. I go in both directions to really get that to attach nicely and close up. And smoothing out these seams on this side will give you the same pinchy texture that you have on this side on the back. Because right now you're noticing how smooth this is since it was in the mold. And this will kind of complete the look of the hand-built triangle dish. Once you've gotten all of your seams smoothed out, you will notice the change in texture on the opposite side and you can add your logo stamp or your signature or however you like to mark your work. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.